Hey guys, welcome back. This lesson is going to be on multiplying monomials and polynomials. So when we multiply polynomials, we multiply the coefficients, which are the numbers in front of the letters. Then we find the same variables or the letters and we add the exponents. Okay, so let's try some examples here. What is the product? Everybody knows product means to multiply. What is the product of 3a squared b and negative 4a to the third, b to the fourth. Anytime you guys want, you can uh, pause the video, okay? Pause the video and try the problem and let's see if we have the same exact answer, okay? That's the best way to practice. So, I said to multiply, multiply the coefficients. Three times negative four is a negative 12 and then multiply the same when you multiply the same variables, you keep the variable and then you add the exponent. So that's going to be 5. And then b and b to the fourth. Everybody knows that when it just says b, there's a 1 hidden there. Okay? So b to the first, b to the fourth makes b to the fifth. Be careful with your answers. It's going to be choice 1. And that's all you have to do. Let's try another example. I hope you guys stay through the entire video because the Problems are going to become more challenging, and I really want you to try it. The product of five of negative five x y squared and two x y to the third. Everyone should put a one there and a one there. Okay, so the product of this and this. So this is how we multiply a monomial and a monomial. Okay, a monomial with another monomial. So how do we do it again? We multiply the two numbers, that's negative 10, so we do the operation. So this is multiplication, product, then we multiply. Then we got to go x to the first, x to the first, I'm going to keep the variable and add the exponent. y squared, y to the third, I'm going to keep the variable and add the exponent. And then I'm going to choose that. All right, let's try another one. What is the area of the rectangle in terms of x? Area means to multiply. Area means all of this, okay? So area means to multiply. How do we multiply a monomial, which is x, times a binomial, x plus 3? Well, it's the same exact thing. There's a 1 here and a 1 here, so we should start with there. There's also a 1 in front. Every variable has a number in front of it, okay? so. Now we're going to go 1 times 1 is 1. And then you say letter times the same letter, we add the exponent. And then x times a positive 3. Well, I don't care about the x and the 3. Remember, 1 times 3 is 3. And since there's no letter to multiply, we just bring it along for the ride. So we have x squared plus 3x. The reason why here, and I'm not going to take too much time until we get to the next video, but the reason why is because next to 3 is x to the 0. x to the 0 is 1, which I'll show you when we do division, but th that's why 1 plus 0 is 1, okay? All right, let's try another one. What is the product of 3a squared b and negative 4a to the third b to the fourth? Oops, I did this problem already. Let's skip over it. Okay. This one, write the product as a polynomial. You guys can pause it if you want, or you can just stay with me and let me show you what to do here. Let's pick a different color. Two times one is two, and then the x with the x makes x squared. Do you remember why? Because there's a one here and a one here, okay? So let me get rid of that for a second um, here. Okay, so the first term was this times this. Now I need 2 times 3 is 6, and then so 2x times 3 is 6x. 1 times 1 is 1x, and then so 1 times 1x is 1x, right? 1 times anything is the other thing. 1 times 3 is 3. Now you remember from the addition videos, that if they look the same and they match perfectly, you see how the x matches perfectly, you can combine them. So that's 7x and that's 3. 
So this is what we call a polynomial or a trinomial. This is your final answer. Nothing can be combined because in order to combine them, the exponents must match perfectly and they don't. So you don't put those together. Let's try another one. 2x minus 1 squared. Well, what does it mean to be squared? It means the term times itself. So if I said 5 squared, you would say 5 times 5. 7 squared, 7 times 7. 2x minus 1 squared is 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. Do you guys think we can FOIL this? 2x times 2x, right? First, you get a 4x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And negative 1 times the negative 1 is positive 1. So 4x squared, these two go together, and then plus 1. And that's your trinomial. That's another word for it. It's trinomial. There's three of them. I want to just take one second to show you why here things happen the way they did, okay? What we're technically doing is we're taking every person... Let me do a different color now. We're taking every person in this and we're multiplying by every person in this. So you see, it's really 2x times 2x. And then we have 2x times negative 1. And then you have negative 1 times 2x. And then you have negative 1 times negative 1. Sorry, we ran out of room. So how do we multiply? 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times negative 1 is negative 2x. Every number needs a sign in front of it. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x, and negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, which is what we just had. Okay? So let's try that with this here. For those who don't like FOIL, I'm sure a lot of teachers taught you FOIL, first, outer, and the last, you can go... 3x squared times 2x, and then 3x squared times positive 1. Then you can do positive 4 times 2x, and you can do positive 4 times positive 1. So that's 6x to the third because we add exponents and we multiply coefficients. 3 times 1 is, we need a sign, okay? And then 4 times 2, that's 8x, and then 4. And we put these together, and we get 6x to the third plus, uh, sorry, this should be, did I miss, oh yeah, pardon me, this, is one, this one you cannot put together. You can't put the 3x squared and the 8x together, they don't match perfectly. You got to be very careful. So 3x squared plus 8x plus 4 is your final answer. It's a polynomial. And the degree is actually three. Degree is always the highest. So we, get, we have a couple of more to try, but you guys can have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and continue to watch all the videos in the playlist, okay? This is pretty much it. It's the same exact thing. I don't want to bore anyone, but it's going to be first, outer, inner, last. And then these go together. And 